uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session so let's solve this very interesting interview question okay so probably you cannot see the options right now but yes uh, after solving uh, solving this problem uh, I, I can show you the options okay there are four options so let's solve this question okay that's it yeah so you have uh, this uh, this is rc circuit and let's this should be a closed loop okay and for easy calculation let's make it a ground okay uh, not necessarily ground every time let's make it ground okay and the answer will not be affected okay so no issue for that okay so basically you have three capacitance and that are pre charged like in this fashion okay this force is charged with uh, one volt across it and the 3c capacitance is uh, pre charged with one volt across it and the c capacitance uh, charged with zero volt so actually you can tell this is the and initially uncharged and these two are initially charged okay and what will happen so somehow we have uh, someone has connected uh, all these capacitance like in this form with the extra resistance of r, r okay let's say this is r and the value of r is here is on ohm and the unit capacitance c value is on farad here and what we need to find we need to find what is the voltage or is the time it will take to make this v out to 1.25 okay so now before thinking uh, lots of things just think what is the purpose of this force capacitance here okay uh, first of all uh, is this force capacitance is conducting uh, or like is there any current flowing through it uh, in this way or in this way no right because this on terminal has opened right so actually no current can flow through this force capacitance and that's how our uh, problem becomes so easy okay only this lower part is making closed loop so current will flow through the loop here but in this for like the for the force capacitor there is no charging current not even any discharging current as well so it will not conduct okay so what will try it will uh, it will try to hold this previous voltage what what was the previous voltage it was on volt so it will try to make it on voltage okay so now the problem is we have to find what is the time to reach this voltage at 1.25 so to maintain this on voltage and that node voltage is needs to be to 1.25 so what do you think what will be the node voltage here so it needs to be 0.25 right so that the voltage across this force capacitor will remain always be on volt plus on volt like in this fashion okay and okay so okay so don't, don't be confused let's say this is a this is b this is a, a a this is b for every capacitance the upper terminal is a and lower terminal is b so again so this is a this is b this is a this is b this is a this is b okay for each capacitance okay so i am i am looking in this way so now so this node has to be go 0.25 so that it can go to uh, 1.25 to maintain on voltage across it because it is not conducting that's it so now we have to just find what is the time taken by the circuit to reach this node let's say some vx vx node to reach uh, uh, uh like uh, 0.25 okay and we are talking this is ground okay okay so it, it will become easy now okay so let's solve so this 4c capacitor is not conducting the i is zero either way it can be like this can be like this no issue this is 3c uh, this is c and the, actually this is very interesting okay so we'll be solve we'll be solving in the two ways okay and we'll tell you what is the exact expression so this is your v out needs to be 1.25 to make this 1.25 this need to be 0.25 and this is for uh, yeah. so now so we cannot actually connect the circuit in this way right so we have to have some switches okay so let's make a switch and let's say it is conducting some t equal to some value let's for the simplicity it is t equal to 0 plus that's it okay we are just connecting it can be any time okay so let's t equal to t plus okay so now we will be solving in this two way so we will be thinking that it is always connected like in this fashion and it will be a real case of this switching okay so this this is the real case okay because we cannot actually connect in this fashion so if there is no switch right okay after the pre charge so this is the thing so we will be solving in the two way the switch is connected and the switch is idea so r on of the switch will be zero ohm okay zero ohm yeah and another case is it is for ideal and it is always connected okay so now we can see if there is no current so all of the current will be flowing through the resistance and these two capacitors actually 
discharging okay through this capacitors and ultimately this node voltage will go to the zero volt okay because all of the charge will be uh, like will be absorbed by the resistance and that v, a, this node will be going to zero volt okay after after some time okay depend on the time constant and so on okay okay so now so now so this is the rc discharging circuit so the vc of t of any discharging capacitance is nothing but v not times e power minus t over tau okay so what is the v not so v not actually is the initial condition for that capacitance okay so now just just solve for the first case uh, what is actually always connecting thing okay let's do it okay so let, let's it is always connecting here so the 3c capacitor was charged to 1 volt right so initially it, it becomes 1 volt okay so let's solve it and what is the time constant of the circuit so it is not putting any any anything to the uh, time constant because it is not conducting so all of the time constant is coming from this this loop okay so your time constant will be c equivalent times r equivalent and r equivalent is nothing but r and c equivalent is the sum of these two capacitors because it is in the parallel okay so it will be 4c times r it will be 4rc and this is on ohm this is on farad so it will be 4 seconds okay so it is pretty easy right yeah so now solve it yeah so now your vc so you need to find what is the time so it will be it will be 2 oh sorry 0 0.25 at t equals to some tx let's say so it will be let's say tx okay so now 0 0.25 will be equal to 1 volt times e power minus tx over tau and tau is 4 okay so it will be 1 over 4 times 1 over e power tx by 4 so it will be 4 will be equal to e power tx by 4 so ln 4 will be equal to tx over 4 now you will get tx as uh, 4 times ln 4 okay so this is one of the answers okay now what will happen in the next case when the switching is happening so when the switching is happening so again these two capacitance are feeling like a very low impedance okay so all of the charges will be shared in this in these two capacitance okay so charge is always conserved okay so we can use the charge sharing concept to find the exact voltage at t equals 0 plus when the switch is actually conducting okay let's do here so now total initial charge was total initial charge equal to total final charge q is charge okay so total initial charge was 3c into 1 volt plus c into 0 volt right you can see yeah you can see and total final charge will be so these two branches two capacitors coming in parallel so both are the same same voltage right at the at the <coughs> at the t equals 0 plus right yeah it is connecting yeah so it will be some some let's say v naught into so both of the capacitors coming in parallel so it will be 4c okay so now what is what will be the v0 at t equals 0 plus it will be uh, 3 over 4 volt okay so now it becomes a new initial condition so again we can use this use this formula and find it okay so now everything will be same only the initial condition will be changing for the discharging part purpose okay so it will be 0 0.25 uh, will be equal to 3 over 4 times e power minus tx over 4 okay so this this part actually same right only this thing is different and this is also same so now we can solve so it will be 1 over 4 will be equal to 3 by 4 e power minus tx by 4 so this this cancels so yeah <clears throat> 1 over 3 will be equal to 1 over e power tx over 4 okay so again here we can write c equal to e power tx over 4 so your tx actually 4 times ln 3 right so now let's check these two options okay this is very interesting uh, actually this is a kind of trap okay so let let's see what is the uh, yeah so you can see what is the options you have full ln 4 as well and you have 4 ln 3 as well so what do you think what will the correct answer so if the if it is a real case so for me if the answer will be this because there have to have some switches and if we connecting these two things so it will be it, it will share their charges okay so now let's say it is up to you so how do you think you can comment 
comment in, in this uh, in this video okay so both of the both of the options are there okay for loan 3 and for loan 4 and we have got this exact two expression for loan 4 and for loan 3 okay so so let's comment okay what do you think what will be the answer so according to me uh, if like the real case there has to be have some switches so i think for me it will be this this answer okay yeah so thank you yeah